All right, what's going on you guys? This is Sean here again with Venture Art House and today we're here with another Destination Talks. I've come to the top of uh, beautiful Mount Baldy. Today I have a special guest. His name is James Bauman. Say what's up, man. Hey guys, my name is James Bauman and uh, I'm it's a pleasure to be here, man. Oh, hell yeah, man. So excited to have you. So James is a music video director here in Los Angeles. He's been doing it for nine years. He has some of the best uh, first man basis experience as far as the film industry goes in LA. We're gonna get into all of that and more more right after this intro. All right, so welcome back, you guys. As I said before, uh, I have James Bauman with me here. He's music video director. We're just gonna talk a little bit today about what it takes to get into that sort of bracket of filmmaking um, and certainly some of the obstacles that you can face going through it and everything and more. So the topic of today is how to become a music video director. Uh, let's start right from the basics. James, tell us about how you got started in doing this um, and how you even thought like to yourself, like, what triggered in your mind to say, hey, I want to specifically direct music videos? Yeah, so I, uh, I stumbled across my first, uh, my first set uh, with uh, some friends and uh, I, I naturally just kind of gravitated to this communication and uh, um, being able to like, okay, just, just throw me in. And uh, I, at the time, I didn't, know, I, didn't, I didn't know that was directing. I just thought it was just getting it done. You know, because it needed it needed to get done, and uh, and uh, just one thing led to another, and I and I and I seen that you know my passion for it, and uh, you know on the creative side, you know I, I there was there's nothing like it, brothers, you know, and uh, just one thing led to another, and my and, and I realized like ver, like ver, like right away that like, I think this is what's meant what I'm meant to do, and uh, you know I just take it one step at a time, and uh, from there my career be began. And this was nine years ago. Wow. So obviously you have to be a pretty big music fan to be into music videos. What was a music video that you saw that you said like, damn, man, I have to do this for a living? Yes, yeah. Well, I, uh, I grew up like on rock music, so I actually, uh, yeah, I, I loved, um, uh, one of my favorite music videos was uh, fr uh, from a band called Crossfade. It was called Cold, and it was just in a house. And, and I loved the lighting, and I just loved the, the narrative elements of it. And like, I, I felt like, um, I felt like, you were telling a story in, in three minutes or, or less. And I felt, man, if you could evoke the kind of emotion in three minutes, you know, you, 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 you have someone, you know, and what's more fulfilling than having someone's emotion and entertainment for those, for those minutes, you know? Right. right. No, it's definitely like something that I grew up as well too. You know, I'm a big rock guy. We talked about it on the way up here. Did you ever see the Blink-182 videos? What'd you say? Did you ever see the Blink-182 videos growing oh, yeah, up? Back in the day, yeah. Dude. Tell me those were an iconic. Yeah, yeah. Or, or if you look at the NWA videos and you're just like, how raw it was yeah. and how like just how gritty it was. Like I look at those videos now and I'm just like, to this day, I'm floored that they were able to caps capsulate those images the way they did in the 90s, right. uh, 2000s. This was a whole different era. Cameras were bigger. Everything was scaled tremendously you know yeah, and, and you couldn't do this stuff on your own at like you know small scale micro scale what was it like like nine years ago because now i can pick up a camera for a thousand bucks that shoots 4k <laughs> and do like pretty much anything as i that i want to as long as i have good lighting like what what kind of cameras are you shooting on like how how did that all trail out i think it's it's crucial as as creatives to know that everything comes in time and scale so you're not going to start off with a red or an alexa or or, or even a, a a black magic pocket those are shooting 6k now uh, you know you it's okay to start on a on a canon you know on a t2i it's okay to, to even rent a couple cameras that's my uh my my my, my tidbit of, uh, of of insight is don't commit to a piece of equipment until you've tried a few so you find your niche so maybe get it a an, open an account with like a rental company uh and your community that has various cameras and see which one feels right and feel see which one you could grow into right. but definitely full frame definitely uh at least 4k because you know that is where that is the standard sure. and um but uh i would say yeah and 
to invest some time into going to a rental company and also invest a exponentially more time in yourself knowledge educating yourself on like like on on what elements of cinematography do you do you do you feel like you need to understand first because as a director you, i think you should understand all of them right right and how long did it take you because like, in the beginning like you were running and gunning and you were directing everything did you understand so much the technical aspect of it or was it just like no i just want to create art and that's right right, right right because you know with every 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 time you work um i believe it is a it, it's like in the gym you're shooting uh or you're working out or whatever it is you're honing your craft and you're realizing what works and what doesn't work so um you're always modifying what you what you've learned and you technically want to be more technically sound every time you want to you already know how lighting is going to react in certain situations you already know how a subject might react in certain situations if you work with them before you know what i'm saying so you know so keep going the the police are just coming through. yeah yeah we're really uh, out right here now <laughs> yeah we're clearing out, here. out the whole entire area i'm gonna lower this mic and let you talk real quick uh, and we'll just play it off like nothing's uh, going down at all. Okay, he didn't look at us. Sorry for the break, guys. Um, all right, so yeah, man, I mean, there's so many different ways that you can learn, definitely. And besides the technical stuff, because we've talked about that a lot here and like learning your craft and everything, there's a lot more that comes with it. Like when you first got into music video directing, you definitely didn't think about all the extra weight that could potentially come because part of your job, I feel like, is also putting fires out and being able to react in a calm, cool, collective way and say, how do we get past this? So during the past nine years, Tell me, what was probably like one of the most like wild fucked up things that ever happened? You were like, I we have to figure out something right now, otherwise this whole shoot is just blown. Oh man, there, you have. I mean, when you're when you're working, bro, like especially as a freelancer, you're dealing with the weather. Yeah. You're dealing maybe it could be in LA something as as simple as parking might throw off your whole schedule. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're dealing with the the, the just. The situation you could be sit you could be in uh downtown la and you could be dealing with some uh you know it could be you know homeless people that are you know occupying your time and you have to kind of finesse situations uh you could be dealing with police as far as uh you know maybe you know your production looks a little too big you know we've all grilled it <laughs> and i think that's a yeah. um that's a cornerstone of any creative is utilizing the situations to your advantage or right. or at least mediating some of the some of the uh the, the risk factor and just keeping a focus on what the job that what what you're there to accomplish right. and i'm very good at um uh, i've almost uh, being my own ad because when you're working um you know uh with limited uh production crew you have to be on top of it not only on the directing on the creative side but just on the on the logistics side too oh, yeah. so you know i'm very much very much aware of what time it is and and what we need to get done and i think um you know all of those all of that plays into uh, uh hand in hand with the objective yeah yeah and in those situations like i don't know many people can just jump to like panic like is there any way that you're able to be like so self-aware uh to be able to say hey you know this artist paid a lot of money for this video this is what we're here to do i'm not leaving without it i need to chill down and think about this logistically for a second do you have to like walk away from the crew um or are you able to just think it out a great question bro i think it's about your attitude you know if i'm am I, if i'm projecting frustration at you for you uh because maybe i'm in your zone in your area and i'm and i decided to shoot something there and i'm coming at you aggressively in a hostile tone you're going to be more hostile towards me whatever the situation is so i tend to be um you know like i try to be the most um uh, accommodating person i understand you know uh this is, i understand that you know maybe we may be encroaching or something you know out of our control is happening here but you know i'm only here for a moment and I, then i leave and i say thank you and you know and the job continues you know what i mean so i think it's all about your approach yeah. and how in and and your attitude because you know not here hurting nobody we're creating art you know what i'm saying and most of the time when people see a camera they're pretty excited about like or interested sure you know kind of like right now yeah yeah exactly <laughs> so is, with, is anybody bothering us yeah no no, no we're exactly good. we're good up here exactly so with that being said like what was one of the most fucked up situations that has ever happened when you were shooting and you just in okay general. so uh, a couple years ago we had a shoot and uh, you know when you when you're shooting um 
where an artist invites like an open invitation to all their fans yeah. that brings uh, a certain element of surprise and uh, one time we were shooting uh, for a big rapper uh, from uh, from Los Angeles and uh, Central Los Angeles and uh, one of the one of the crazed fans came and started you know attacking his car with a pickaxe and no. yeah uh, and um, and we had uh, some Is this a crew members car no it was an artist car so it was a no. it was a fan, and we and then my my buddy who's a, a cop actor he was one of the cop actors on set right. he's just sitting in a squad car he's like and he's texting me hey James you know somebody here is smashing so and so's car <laughs> you know what I mean and you know it's a situation but you know we gotta right. like let's finish what we're doing here and then we'll fix that fix that situation she ended up getting arrested but um, yeah yeah certain certain things are out of your control but I would say to minimize risk uh, you know for anybody thinking about doing like a massive performance shot with like hundreds of fans sure. of an artist is be be, a, be aware that you know you have to have security because yeah. that's something at that point i didn't think of but because sure. i didn't i didn't i didn't consider crazy fans you know but yeah, it's out there bro out it's out there fast. and you have to plan 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 for everything and then some because my this was it if you fail to uh, prepare prepare to fail yeah and no, you learn absolutely. that going that's through it that's crazy man and that could happen in any genre i mean you think you get like a hundred metal heads in a room and they start moshing. It, yeah bro things can get destroyed yeah things you could you could tell you could legitimate like my oh like one of my favorite videos of all time slipknot duality yeah when they got into the house and just started breaking stuff yeah bro that you you put a hundred metal heads in a house you could literally you could destroy the foundation oh yeah you Dude, know? that is. So Have you seen that video? Odd. Yeah. Duality. Of I grew. I grew up on Slipknot. One man. of my favorite videos of all no, time. I love it. I love it. Raging, yeah. all the maggots, dude. Um, that's so wild. So. The guy, the guy destroys the car with the pickaxe. It was right? a female. Were you guys shooting like gorilla style? Oh yeah, we were oh, in the yeah. house. So it, you it was basically had to wrap up your stuff. This way you could cover your tracks. And then did you guys have to call the police after? Oh them? no, the police came shortly after. It, it was a, it was madness, but we got it done. And did this yeah. guy go? It was down, a female. Like, it was a, with... it was a female super fan. Wow. But for for a male artist, uh, but yeah, you know, it, it happened. You don't huh. dwell on it because uh, you know we have the bigger pictures. We have to get this video done. A window could get replaced. You know right. what I'm saying? So. Um, like I said, the biggest lesson I learned is, you know, plan for everything and sure. the unplannable. Try your best. Yeah. <laughs> Security. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I think that's one of the most common traits is, especially since I've started to do this full time is like, you can always have a plan, but the film industry has its way of just totally life, wiping life that does, plan bro. off the face of the planet. Life. And I think, um, no matter what level of success you're at, as far as, uh, uh, in, in anything, mm -hmm. um, I feel like you have to you you, you do what you do, but the the, the world and and situ you're dealing with people. Right. You can't always predict every situation that's gonna happen. People, I've had many times when an artist is late, and you're gonna deal with that at all levels. Yeah. And I've what do you do? You have you have this location for a certain amount of hours, so situations happen. Their their flight might be late. A lot of times an artist is flying in sure. situations that are beyond their control. Right. So it's like. We're ultimately we're in a business that relies on each other on sure. communication. Sure, that's essentially what it is. No, I think that's one of the greatest things. And if anybody knows me, they know that if I compliment somebody, and I'm going to compliment you right now, James. It's genuine, and I don't like to kiss anybody's ass yeah. just to say something nice. This guy is one of the most calm, cool, collective yeah. dudes. Yeah. The building could be on fire, and it'd be like, all right. This is what we're gonna do. And normally, me, I'd be like, "Dude, this is fucking happening right now. Yeah. I'm gonna freak out. Like, we need to figure this yeah. out." And yeah. James is just organization yeah. is yeah. key. Cool, calm, collective, and he learns how to get in there yeah. and really bring things to yeah. a level so that we can get the job done that right. we've been hired. To I do. appreciate that, bro. Because you know what? It it, it it took it takes time. It, yeah. It's like you 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 gotta you gotta sculpt your profession and your and your style and your approach and bro i've done this for a long time and i've and i've been in right. all situations where i'm not the calmest guy because things are really really looking bad but sure. and, and everything is on your shoulders because you're you're the kind of person that they're looking for 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 direction right. and you know sometimes you, you 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 get we're people sometimes you get frustrated sometimes things are really are really stacked against you sure. so like anything you work towards it and uh, i really like where i'm at um emotionally physically mentally i'm all there and uh it's it, you know I'm, I'm only looking to improve yeah your career has grown quite a lot in nine years how many how many videos would you say hundreds you hundreds, hundreds 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 too many to count at this point hundreds but I, I i always feel like um 
every time I shoot is almost like the last time I shoot because this is what I do. Sure. So so there's a sense of not just urgency but um, just uh, excitement, and I think channeling that excitement. Um, I remember there was a time, bro, where it, for some shoots it was really big and they were all encompassing. Right. And it might be hard to sleep at night because you love something and you're looking forward oh, to it I've and you want there. everything to work out. You think about it all night long, especially if you're traveling yeah. to a shoot oh, and you only God. have a couple hours. Like uh, we shot on Catalina Island, and you and you know you, it's a lot of things, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, yeah. No, I mean that all that all comes with the territory. So at this point in your career, you've shot hundreds of videos, right? Uh, and you've done so many things from guerrilla filmmaking to just people with pickaxes and all yeah, yeah, sorts yeah. of things. You've seen it yeah. pretty much all. And earlier today, um, we were talking a little bit about how you're going to propel your career forward. So James was talking to me about signing with an agency, hopefully in the next year or so. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I believe he's going to do it. If anybody's yeah. going to do it, this guy right here, yeah. he has the experience. He, yeah. He's so passionate about right. it. But um, I was actually talking to somebody like, how, how do you get in touch with like these labels? Like who is the go-to oh, person a, that's that you want to reach out to? That's a great question. Okay, so, you know, I've done the independent thing and and uh, it's a great experience. Right. You, you learn. You learn a lot, and you you're 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 you have to be fully accountable. You have nobody. You have, I don't have a manager. I don't right. have any anybody really to like make sure that that I don't fail. Right. So you have to be on it. And I feel like I'm at a point in my career where you know what I've done. I've 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 turned the leaf. I've turned every stone I can, and I'm ready myself. I know I'm ready to sure. to elevate my craft to a level to where I could support a team of 30 to 40 highly trained, pe highly skilled people just right. like myself and we could accomplish things that I I would see uh, right. uh, envision or I would see Hollywood doing, you know, I, like I could do that. We could do that now. We yeah. are we are those people now. Sure. So, uh, you know, um, every every like I said, every job I do, it, I, I put my all in. I'm right. all in. No, and um, I think uh, an artist and management and labels they're all connected and they love to work with people that are understanding of the of, of what the project needs and you deliver exactly what you do or over deliver i try i tend i love i love sure. to, to to give someone a project to give a client and a management and uh, an artist a, a video and even they're surprised and how good it turned Hell out yeah. like they maybe they weren't there for all the shots and when they see it all come together or they mm -hmm. maybe they were there yeah, for all the shots letter. but when you put it all together and they come back with maybe a, fi a few notes and as a whole they're blown away yeah i mean that goes a long way and you're easy to work with because yeah. you know th this is this is i'm a full-time creator so sure I if you text me i'm going to respond to you sure. if you have a question i'm going to clarify if, if yeah. we need to talk about something i'm going to do that right. um but as people like go ahead and they're they're putting in their all and everything and they're doing music videos, how do you start to build like a partnership with like these labels to start getting those music right. videos? Like who would one even reach out to, email? Who would one have to network with? Right. So after you start um, building a relationship or a rapport with the with the label or uh, uh, a management company, um, I think it, a, a natural communication is just is just a part of it and and you might even become friends you know right. and and then a lot of times this is a little secret is that um a lot of times i try to create my own opportunity right. and i and let me let me this is a little little thing i do is if i if one of the labels i work with work with has an artist that just released a song that i find personally like it'll move me uh right. and i and i see the story right away i'll reach out to them and be like hey hey you know i I, I um I just heard the song. I really like it. Would would you mind if I write something to it? And sure. they're, I'll, they're not gonna nine. They've never denied me because all I'm doing, I'm I'm writing I to it. That. I'm right. I'm creating it. I'm, and and then I give it to them, and they give it to their product manager, and they look at it, and they're like, wow, this is right. We didn't. We weren't even thinking about shooting, but but. You is know, that the, is that the commissioner who you're who you're emailing? No, just just the people, my contacts, right. uh, just my contacts. Who, who my contact at, at various labels or the managers. Mm -hmm. um, I, I tend to try to have a good flow of communication, um, you know, because I'm I'm reliable, right. and uh, I'm, I really I'm, like that. I really like that tip. I think part of what we do and getting work and going to like new levels is just all reaching out. Like the, the sky is not gonna rain fucking work on you. And I'm sure you know that by yeah. now. Yeah, so a lot of times I've actually got videos that of songs I really love because I just took the time. I invest, I could write treatments. I'm, I'm, I'm a really good writer and I, right. I put treatments together very well. Right. And so I could put together a solid, a beautiful treatment in two, two to three hours. 
Right. You know, so I invest two to three hours and send off a treatment that may or may not be used, or they might not even have thought of using a song, shooting this song, but at least they read my treatment. Yeah. They'll see, they see my pictures. They know that you're there. They know. I committed to your... it before the, before they even thought about something like yeah. that. And yeah. sometimes you get the video. Just like that, I've actually got some several videos from just stepping in front of opportunity and yeah. creating it. Yeah, I had a friend who used to tell me all the time, like, give people what they want before they even know that they want it. It's one of the greatest things. I think that's awesome, man. So going forth for 2020, like, your biggest goal is to get signed, like, as like you know a my, music video director to like an agency right well i would love to get uh, i would love to uh you know find my you know sign to a production company um you know that really uh, really uh understands my level right. of passion and commitment that i bring and also too i'm, I'm latino so i want to bring the latin element to uh wherever i go you That's know right. and um whether it's with the production company or a, a directing agency or i'm represented like right that's um I, I come with a team too of the of highly talented people too so right I'm, i by no means do i i i do this alone you know i have mm -hmm. i have a team and um you know my goal moving forward is is my long-term goal yeah of, of course i want to be represented i want to be a part of a family you know like that you know we're all you know striving for vmas we're all striving for the, the next level right but um more so even more than that is i want to make the best work i've ever done ever in my life this year you know what i mean right. like i want to i want to do this stuff Always that leveling up exactly outdoing the last version right. of yourself and I because think all of that comes in together right right and it's not just a paycheck i mean if you right. if you treat things like that we were talking about that on the way up here right. like we know many guys who are very successful but they get to the point in their career where they just treat it as another gig and like you were saying like the guys are already on their phones like looking at the call sheet for the next next day yeah. for that schedule and they're just there to fill like a body but i think if you go in with it all right. the time all and you give your above and beyond there's shoots that i've done that were like i swear to you 300 dollars for the budget that is it and we worked our asses off for 15 16 hours and that shows you know it might not show to everybody but if you go in with that intention all the time that's going to come back to you one of the guys that we did a shoot like that for i won't say his name he was a fashion designer one of the nicest people like he didn't have a lot of budget it was a small business and we just went in with it full force he then ended up recommending us to his friend and it's always like a domino effect so Absolutely. I think what you put in is what you get out and you couldn't say that any better Sean, especially where you're standing it's, right it's now. very it's very important like and I want this to be known is that like you cannot judge I, I cannot judge you cannot judge anybody anybody right. could be anybody and everybody is somebody sure that I say that emphatically everybody everybody is somebody you sure. know and, and and in this industry, in this life, you know, we're all chasing our passions. We're all chasing something, right. you know. So I am nobody to discredit the next person. Mm -hmm. I am nobody to, um, okay, one, like, a, for, for example, a, a challenge. Like, you know, when you're submitting a treatment, oftentimes you're competing against 10 other very qualified and really? skilled directors. Oh, yeah. Labels are, are always, are always, um, so it's not just you like straight no, with no, them. No. They're like they have other dudes like waiting on the back burner. So you're like you got a gun to your yeah, head yeah. to so, literally so, make so, the best so, treatment. So like if you were to ask me, James, what's what's the hardest hardest uh, str mm -hmm. struggle? So I would say this. So and this kind of ties into in my philosophy um, on just on just people uh, and what we're doing is right. that um, you know when a label sends out a breakdown or whatever, what they're looking for, a creative, break, a creative breakdown, and they say, hey, James, can you write something to this? Now they're, right. they're asking me. They're also asking five to 10 other directors uh, what their vision is. Sure. And, you know, I, I do the best I can, and I, and I give it, to, and I turn it in, you know, sure. quickly. And, and I give a piece of myself, you know, I'm all in at that point. And mm. nine times out of 10, you, you, may, you may not get the project. Right. Because that's just the nature of it. Yeah. The nature of it's like an audition. But you learned a hundred ways not to get that audition, if you're looking at it positively. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. But you know, you but then you, you'll scroll on Instagram, Instagram, and you'll see, you know, this so and so director shooting this, the video that I that I wrote a treatment to. Right. They wrote, they competed for it too, and it just so happened that the artist liked their vision better. And wow. and and, and it, that's the nature of the business. You, I cannot. Uh, say something negative because we're all colleagues. We all right. work together. You might get a video that I wanted. I might get a sure. video that you wanted. Hey, touche. Like we're all in this for for because we love this. You know what I mean? And and we feel uh, drawn to this because we could be doing anything else right. in the world. And some of the most intelligent people 
that I that I've ever met or I met them on set and they're just so talented and I can't believe right. that you know we they work with me you know or I work with or I right. work with them I work with you bro you're incredible <laughs> like blown away no i mean it's, it's an honor to do what we do because you could be sitting in a cubicle or you could see busy sitting yeah doing some sort of i haven't had a job task. in 10 years reality is we're filming people and doing performances let me put it to you like this music. an artist let me the best way to say is this an artist's livelihood at the scale that we are the, the, the level that we are is right. is music right. music is their livelihood right they are they are entrusting you with 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 their livelihood right we're not working with, with people, uh, and all due respect to uh, people that are starting to do music or all sure. that, but the artists uh, that I work with, they, they're they full-time musicians, full-time right. full artists. So it takes a certain big level of trust for say, hey, hey, James, can you take take what my baby and make it, you know, something. So oh, yeah. so it's, you know, I don't take it lightly. You know, I'm, we're, we're working with people's soul, you know, to some degree. You know, this is their livelihood. You're right. This right. their music. Absolutely, man. And massive respect. We got about two minutes left on the clock here for the camera recording cap. Yeah. Um, anything that you want to say to anybody, like the best possible piece of advice for honing in on specifically right. your market music videos right. that will help propel their careers so forward this the, year? The biggest thing I've learned at this point is, you know, a director, you always think of like, they're the ones talking. They're the ones talking. They're the ones kind of making... Uh, where th the direction where, sh where things should go but I've kind of come to a place of more listening trusting your team and let them do what they're what they what they know they need to do mm. you know what I'm saying like you don't want to micromanage you know your team I trust my team and I respect them for their own artistry and they know what um the goal is and the vision is right no and it's so important to work with your team and have everybody be together as one cohesive unit right but i couldn't couldn't have said it better myself man seriously uh unfortunately the camera's probably about to cra like crap out on us and cap out on the record limit i wish we could talk forever i mean Dude, look at that beautiful view in the background. Yeah. Incredible. So this was his idea. Um, if you haven't yet, I'm going to link James's information down below, his Instagram, uh, Vimeo. He's, he's developing his new website right now and everything. So you guys can check out all his stuff on there. Dude, thank you so of very course, much. Thank it's you. Been, we out here. It's been a pleasure. This is Destination Talks on how to become a music video director. See you guys on the next one. How was that? Dude, that was tight. Yeah? Was, tight. was there anything there? Gems? Gems?